What's up everybody, Tony here with iTech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at some cases and some camera lens protectors made of tempered glass for the Galaxy Note Ultra. Now there's one case I'm really interested in seeing, it's going to be a case that has a tempered glass back pretty cool. I will also be putting links for all these products in the description in case you guys want to pick them up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So let's go ahead and start the unboxing. So the first case we're going to be taking a look at is the Alliance. Now this one is a two-part shell. It has a hard uh, plastic back on it surrounded by a nice uh, rubber on the outside. And there's also a plastic insert that gets inserted into the rubber case. So if we want to take that out, all you got to do is pull up on here, pull out the middle, and there you have your two pieces. And this is going to go over the top of your phone, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and place it into the case here. Okay, so one thing to note, I had a glass screen protector on here, and as you can see, it did greatly lift that up. So if you have a white stone dome or the um, ultimate shield, a tempered glass screen protector that uses the adhesive, I probably wouldn't want to use this case because it, it def it's definitely going to push up on your screen protector. But uh, as you can see, it does fit nicely. Buttons are responsive, very clicky. So we've got our cutouts, they're all nice and deep. You can still get to our S Pen here. You can see you got a little lanyard hole. Cutouts there. It, does, it has edge protect, extra edge protection in case you drop it. And as you can see it's got a raised edge for the camera. And then also a raised edge from the top and the bottom in case you want to put your phone face down on something. It's pretty nice. If you want the best protection from ESR this is probably the case you're going to want to get. And as you can see uh, you can see the color of your phone really nice from the back here. It is a fingerprint magnet, so that's, you know, one thing. Now you're probably wondering, does it work with wireless charging? Well, let's go ahead and check it out. And as you can see, it is wirelessly charging. So that was the Alliance case. Not super bulky, but it's definitely going to protect your phone. Next up, we have their classic hybrid case. This one has a nice hard back. It is plastic, and then it's got a nice rubbery edge. It also has these little micro dots um, on the inside here to keep the rainbow effect down. Okay. Looks pretty nice. Shows off your phone. As you can see, there is a raised edge to protect your camera. There's also a slight raised edge on the top and the bottom here. Even though I do have a glass screen protector, it still has a little lip. Then you got your little lanyard holes there, your cutouts, buttons, very responsive. Feels grippy in the hand. You don't have to worry about uh, it falling out of your or slipping out of your hand. There's your buttons. They are separated, which I love. So that is the classic hybrid. Next up, we have the metal kickstand. This is a, a flexible TPU case, but it has a nice metal uh, kickstand on it. Again, it's got those micro dots on the inside to help keep the rainbow effect down. Again, it's nice and grippy. Buttons are responsive. It's got all your cutouts and everything. Again, the same uh, raised back for your camera and for the front. And then here you have that little kickstand bump. The kickstand comes out like this. So you can have it stand up in portrait or you can have it sit down in landscape in case you want to watch a video or something. That is pretty nice. It snaps down in there nice and neat. And if you're wondering if the wireless charging still works with that metal kickstand, there you go, wirelessly charging. So you can still charge it up even though it's got that kickstand on the back because right here is where your charging coil is. I like this case. I like that stand, especially if you're <laughs> wanting to watch some YouTube videos or something. 
or a video conference on your desk, definitely comes in handy. Then here is the case I am most excited for. This is their Echo tempered glass case. Now it looks just like the first case that we showed, but it's got a tempered glass back here. It's nice and smooth. It doesn't seem to show fingerprints very well. So you can see you can't even see anything. And it also has that rubber uh, outer ring, but at the tempered glass center. That is slick. It's got that raised edge for your camera. And also the raised edge for the front. It's very rigid, nice and grippy too. Buttons again, as always, very responsive and they are separated. I do like that back. That is pretty slick. And then to show you that it's glass, I have a razor blade here. <laughs> Now, if that was not glass, it would be all scratched up right now. That is pretty cool. I like that. Very nice. Again, like I said, it doesn't show fingerprints like the first plastic one did. It's definitely a little more resistant. And again, if you're wondering if it works with wireless charging, there you go. No issues. So here is the tempered glass back camera screen protector. You get two of these as well as two cleaning kits. Um, like I said, they're tempered glass, so they should withstand scratches, and we'll see how good it does with the fingerprints too. So first off, we wanna go ahead and clean this with an alcohol wipe, then dry it off. Okay, make sure there's no dust. We'll go ahead and take our screen protector. You're going to want to go ahead and line this up the best you can uh, because there's no guide. So I'm going to take this off screen real quick and put it on and I'll be right back. All right, so there it is. All installed. And while it's still in the case, you can see there's still a little raised edge. So when you put it down, it still won't touch that screen protector. And here's our razor blade again. And as you can see, there are no scratches. It's got that 9H hardness, so it's definitely going to withstand uh, scratches. Fingerprints show up a little bit, not too bad. So now because that camera bump is so prominent, it's definitely going to be prone to things hitting it. And if you want to protect it, I would definitely suggest you put a tempered glass screen protector on there as well. So that is ESR's case lineup for the Galaxy Note 20 as well as their tempered glass screen protector. Which case did you like the best? Let me know in the comments below. I definitely love the tempered glass case. I think that's probably my most favorite and my second favorite is the one with the kickstand because uh, who doesn't like to have their phone sitting up when you're watching YouTube videos. So again, I'll be putting links in the description for all these in case you guys want to pick them up yourself. And if you guys like me, Please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products, do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.